Farchuk, Instagram TV, a Galakalior. What we're going to talk to you today about is crew and trees, and you see them here on the Khalya in the forest. And if you go to lots of forestry commission places, if you go to lots of kind of uh, proto Celtic type websites as well, you'll always have little things about the Gaelic alphabet being based on trees. And that goes back to the Ogham um, writing that uh, the Picts and, then the, and the Celts used in their orthography. Probably some Celts, this is going to shout at me online for getting something wrong here, but I don't care. Um, so what you have is you have a, and it's the letters in the alpha, Gaelic alphabet. Remember in Gaelic there's no J, there's no K, there's no Q, and there's no V, W, X, Y, Z. So uh, they all go as, and really it was that the letters of the trees sounded like um, the letters. There's Alm, Bay, Col, Dad, Yugi, Fern, Gort, Ua, Yug, Ush, <laughs> Noun, Noun, eh, Os, not On, um, Pevok, Rush, Shale, Chena, Ur. And that's all the trees in Gaelic. Except, and this is the thing that they never ever tell you, is pretty much all those words are archaic. They don't get used for trees in modern Gaelic, and they haven't in fact been for a long time. Even if you look at Dwelly's dictionary, even then he's saying they're archaic. So, what are the actual names for the trees? That's what we're going to answer today. So I'm not saying there's anything wrong with this uh, approach. It might be a little kind of Celtic twilight -y, kind of giving that impression that Gaelic speakers are a bit more earthy and cool and druidic and all that stuff. Uh, in comparison to the modern world, but at the end of the day it's not going to teach you how to talk about some very common trees um, which are out there in nature and in the world around you. So that's what we'll try and do, so just try and give you the skinny on the real names for these trees today. So your A, Alum, Elm, Gaelic for Elm in modern Gaelic is Levan. I haven't set this whole thing up, I do have to say that the B, B, Beye is still the same for birch. Um, it kind of stays the same. Cru Veye, birch tree, that's that one does stay the same. Next two trees, K, D, Col, Dar, Hazel, Oak. But in modern Gaelic, Kaltain, Daroch. Next one, Yugu, Aspen, E, eh, Yugin, Aspen. Gaelic for that one is Kriyan, meaning that it shakes a bit like the Aspen does in the wind that constant movement it makes. F fern, Ferna, Alder, that one stays the same. G, Gort, for Ivy. Ayan, mod in modern Gaelic, Ayan. Now, H, Ua, the aspiration sound is Hawthorne, but in modern Gaelic, it's Skioch, Skioch. E, Yug, you. Uh, oldest tree in Scotland is in Fortingall uh, in Perthshire, but that's referred to as Ewer, Ewer in modern Gaelic. Now, if you drink gin, you might know this one. Whoosh is the Gaelic for uh, a rowan in the old letters, um, not lush, but the uh, like modern day Gaelic is Curran, like the Curran gin, which is quite famous. Well, we don't really grow much wine in Scotland, so mm, moon is an interesting one. You'll still see moon as a um, vocab word in some uh, wild trailing plants, but the crown fianna for a grapevine, that's about all you're getting. In, noon, ash, that in Gaelic now is unshin, unshin. Now I'm going to deal with o and t together, aln or chene, and that means uh, gorse, furs, or win. Uh, in Gaelic, most of those plants get bracket together under the word conusk, conusk. P, pavoak, bavoak, the soft birch, the mountain birch. Um, that's a name for it still, but uh, bavoak is another name for it too. Then there's rush, elder, and in modern Gaelic, that's droman, droman. S, s, sul is the old word for willow, but the modern one, sheloch, sheloch. And u, ur, heather, word that people use these days, frug, frug. 